Today I'm going to show you guys how you can replicate handheld footage inside of After Effects. It's pretty easy, so let's jump straight into it. So I have my footage on my timeline. I'm just going to scale it down a bit. I get all my assets from Envato Elements. I've got a link in the description if you want to check them out. And if I play through this video, you can see it is very still on a tripod. So in order to add some magic and make it look like handheld footage, there's two options. The first one is we can add an expression. So if I hit P on my keyboard, come to this little stopwatch animation, hold Alt or Option on your keyboard, while holding it down, click on that button. This is gonna allow you to put in an expression. What we're gonna type in is the expression wiggle. So you hit wiggle, open your brackets, and inside of these brackets, we're gonna add two numbers. The first number is one, then you're gonna hit comma, and the second number, do anywhere between 30 and 40. Uh, let's go with 35. Now if we hit play, you can play around with this number, see what works best for you. Also, just make sure that you scale up your video in order to cover all of the edges so that you don't get any black or transparent parts sticking out at the edges of your video. Although this doesn't always give you the complete natural feeling of handheld, it kind of still does look a bit robotic. So I think there is a better way of doing this. What you're gonna need for this is two pieces of footage. So the first one is a handheld shot. And I've got this piece of footage, as well as the second piece of footage that you want to add the handheld camera effect to. So I'm gonna name this one my handheld layer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, click new and add a null object. Then come over to the tracker on the right here. If you can't see this, come up to window at the top and make sure that tracker is selected. Select your handheld layer and come to track motion. Click on track motion. Make sure that you have position and rotation selected. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find two points on your video that you can track that are going to stay in frame the whole time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find two areas of high contrast and work with them. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this box all the way over to this little piece over there. It's really dark. Make sure that my second box on the outside has enough area to work with. And then my box on the inside just covers the little object that I'm trying to track. And then maybe another area of high contrast could be somewhere on this side, probably this gray object over here. And then make sure your video is all the way at the beginning and then you're gonna start tracking by selecting Analyze Forward, this button over here. It's gonna take a little bit of time depending on the points that you've selected. So I'll catch you guys on the other side. All right, and once you're done, come up to Edit Target, hit Edit Target, make sure that your null object is selected and make sure you hit Apply. And then lastly, make sure that you hit OK to apply to the X and Y dimensions. Boom. All of our tracking points that have been created on this handheld layer have now been copied across to our null object. Now I can turn off my handheld layer, put my main layer back on, and just bring it up to the top so we can see. And then all we need to do is parent the information from the null object across to our footage. And how you do that is you come to this little pick whip and we want to parent this to the null object, which has all of our information. Now, if we play through the footage, all of it has been copied across. And remember to scale up in order to make sure no edges are shown and all of your information is copied across. And if you're somebody like me who works inside of After Effects as well as Premiere Pro, there is a way to get a camera handheld effect inside of Premiere Pro. If you wanna know how to do that, I've made a video and you can check it out over there.